Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's Chelsea here from Cats and Cash. How's it going? Doing well, you guys. Super excited for the weekend. On top of that, it's a long weekend. On top of that, it's the last weekend at the pool. So, <laughs> um, just one last rough weekend. And after this, I'll be back to one job and be able to focus more on my Etsy shop. Start the blanket for you guys for the next giveaway. I'm super duper excited. Riley's up in Adam. She was just in here. She ran away. Maybe she'll come back. Possibly. Maybe not. We'll see. Cat camera set up, of course. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and move it back to its original position. Okay. All right, perfect. So let's do the cash stuffing for this week. Um, but first things first, we deal with change. So I have a decent amount of change here. We're gonna put it in the piggy bank, which is getting full already. So there we go. Move that off to the side. And let's count our money that we took from the bank. If you remember the budget with me that we did on Wednesday, we are stuffing $723. So let's make sure that's what we have in here. And if you're interested in these back to bank envelopes, they are available on my Etsy shop, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash cats and cash. All right, 723 is a magic number. Let's see what we got. We also have a coin here. <laughs> All right. One, two hundred, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty. Five fifty, always ending on a fifty. Testing my counting skills. Five seventy, five ninety, six ten, six thirty, six fifty. Six sixty, six seventy. 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 700, 510. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 7, 23, perfect. All right, so the first thing we do is the cash envelopes I keep in my wallet, and they're a little different this week. So starting off with Eat Out, this is the one that's different because I am purchasing tickets to a cocktail tasting event, Halloween themed. Um, so the money for that ticket I'm putting in here temporarily until I make myself a fun envelope. So 75 is going in here. That's a 50, a 20, and a 5. Okay. Gas gets $20 a week. So now it has 40 Grocery gets $50 a week, and that's what it has. Last envelope is nails, which gets 50, so now it has 100. Perfect. So those are all set. We'll just pop them in the back here. Moving on to the savings challenges, we're doing both this week, so we'll start off with the 100 envelope savings challenge. I have my little crate, and I have a tracker. So the two numbers that we're stuffing this week are 77 and 78. So 77 is a 50, a 20, a five, and two ones. Okay, and then 78 is a 50, a 20, a five, and a three ones. Perfect. So let's color in the tracker really quick. We need the green marker. Okay, 
This tracker is available on my Etsy shop as a digital download. And the 100 envelope, the glitter envelope set, that's also available on my Etsy shop. I have a few available made right now. So if you buy today, they ship today. Perfect. Okay. So let's put this one away. And we're going to do the 26 envelope savings challenge. So here it is. Um, quick update, my stepdad has six of these boxes made. So I'm gonna make the envelopes, I will go into them and I will list them on my shop. Um, okay, so this week for the 26 envelope savings challenge, we are doing number eight. So eight is a five and three ones. There we have it, almost. And this is why I wanted to revamp this product. The envelope is just really, really tight. Um, I do recommend for this particular set to do the trifold um, because if you stuff them in the way that I do, it could rip the edges. But with the new, the new product with the bigger crate, the envelopes will be wider so we can stuff them the way that we want to stuff them like this. So. Anyways, um, this is all set. Let's pop this one back in and move it off to the side and jump right into our sinking buns binder. So here it is. Let's get the stuff in. A lot of these are not getting anything, so it's gonna be a quick one. Um, so appliances and candles are not getting anything. Car maintenance is getting $20 a week. So now it has 40. Okay, carport gets $2 a week. So now we have 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. Casino, clothes, cricket, decor are unfortunately not getting anything this week. It's just the way the budget worked, but that's okay. Get right back into it next week. Gifts is getting 50. It is my nephew's 16th birthday this weekend, so we're just gonna gift him some cash, 100 bucks to be exact. So hopefully he likes that and appreciates that. I will refuse to shop for that kid. <laughs> he can go shop for himself. <laughs> All right, so household, we're going to do $5. Personal is also getting $5. P.O. Box gets $5 a week. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Riley gets 15 a week. And so that's what you'll have, 15. Start buffing up her envelope. I think we're in a good spot right now with everything. She's got all food, more, um, breakfast and dinner stocked. She has her dry food stocked. She has her litter stocked. She's got her new cat condo. So I think we're good. This should be able to buff up for a couple weeks. That'll be nice. All right, Snowball. My most favorite envelope in the whole entire world. Um, let's stuff this. It's going to be a big one. So... 263 because the debt payments that I was making for the previous debts that I paid off with my snowball are now being made into my snowball for my next debt, which is the Discover card. 
So um, these are the minimum payments that I would have been making on those other debts, and that's why it's so much. So one, 250, 60, 61, 62, and 63. 263 is going in here. That is super duper exciting to see that. And travel and yarn this week are not getting anything. Um, but speaking of yarn, I'm going to start the blanket this weekend and show you the pattern and the start of the blanket next Friday. Let's get that going. I really, really enjoyed doing that. Um, I thought it added a little spice to my channel, if you will. Um, I just hadn't had time the last couple weeks to jump right into it like I had wanted to, but let's get it going. So look out for that next Friday. Until then, I need to happen to work. I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and happy Labor Day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.